Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'd like to welcome y'all back to Mega Tech Nerd Video. I'm Rhino Cross, your host, and today's video I'm going to show you how to separate your stereo audio files so you can have multiple channels recorded on just stereo tracks. It's very easy, and I'm going to walk you through the process right now. It's actually easier and was shorter than me actually explaining to you what we have right now. What we have right now is we have two audio channels that were recorded. You have one personality on this one, we have another on this one. Now I made this, but as you record multiple um, dual system audio, you could end up with this because I'd have one wireless lab here and I'd have another wireless lab here, then I'd record that into my H4N and that'll put this on the left channel and this on the right channel. And then once you come back to edit, you want to separate them out. And you can have multiple people on one channel and then have one person on this channel you want to separate it out whatever you want to process edit your audio for there's a multiple reasons but i'm going to show you basically how easy it is to do it right now i'm using wave lab you might be using something different but i'll show you how to use audition too if you want to change if you want to make these all stereo files just separate all of them i mean all you'd have to do is just double click inside the upper portion of your channel and then once you have it selected, you could just go down to copy the new window and you could copy as is and that would leave it as a mono file like this. As you can see, it's a mono file. Or what we could do is you could come back over there to copy the new window, copy to convert to stereo. And now you can see we have a stereo file. Now you have that channel as a stereo file. Minimize that. And we can do the same thing right here where you select this and then you just come down to copy the new window. Either you want to do it as a mono, leave it the way it is, or you want to convert it to a stereo file. And now you can see we have the stereo file. And you can edit off the end of it if you want to. Now, if you had another person over here that was simply that was talking and you wanted to keep this channel separate and you wanted then you'd end up with three all you would have to do is just select the portion that you want to copy okay cool now you have this as a separate file but it's synced right now but you'll just have to sync it inside of your, your video editor don't worry about it it's not a problem and you come over to the same process copy the new window convert to stereo leave as mono and then you would have another channel and stuff like that but there's nothing there so we're not going to go through that and as you can see right now you have yourself your split or well, you have your, your your mono channels now they're both stereo and you can put your stereo effects and you might want to do this because some effects process stereo files differently than they process mono files now if you wanted to you could just leave this the way it is and if you only had this channel and you only had one subject on here and one subject on this channel and left and your right then you could just leave it the way it is and just change the panning and that would lower the volume on this one when you want this one to be high and this one when you want this one to be high and you would just change the left and right pan but if you want them separate then you would use this and it's very simple all you would have to do after this is if you had any effects you'd render it if you use a wave lab but you would just come over and save it and save as whatever you want to save it to like you wouldn't save it to the original but you would, they're both untitled right now they're new projects so you would just save it now Here's another thing. Say you had this, like the way I end up sometimes is I'll end up when I'm using my um for and depending on how many people I have. If I still want to just use my H4N, my Zoom recorder, and I'm using my own wireless labs, my Sennheiser wireless labs, I'll just plug it straight into one channel and I'll end up with a stereo file like this. Now I want this stereo, now I want this left channel to be on the right. And all you have to do is you could either put this and just go to copy copy the new and then make it a stereo or you could just select this one channel select it by clicking in the uppermost portion of the channel and then press control C to copy it control A to select everything or just double click in the middle right here of both of the channels and then press control V and now I've taken now I've taken 
the left channel or your right channel you could do the same thing for either one and then i put it on both just that fast and now when i save this see the one thing that's great about this is when i save this if i have this already inside my editor then it's automatically going to update now all i just have to do is just reload the clip and then that mono file will turn into a stereo file because it's just going to reference it and it's that easy I mean, it can't get any easier than that. Somebody tells you taking the left channel and putting it on the right or making a stereo out of it is hard. You just got to stop and see that they don't know what they're talking about because it's this easy. Just select the one channel, copy it, select both of the channels, or double click and select both of the channels, and then paste it. It's that simple. And then you'd go over to save it and make sure that you go to save as. I mean, just make sure that you have your right presets to whatever you want to change, set them to. And then you make sure that you set it to save as a stereo. Definitely make sure you do that, but you already have your stuff set. All right, cool. Now I'm going to show you the same process inside of Audition. Um, list of audio devices, connect the operating system, have changed. Do you want to know? All right, cool. So come over here, you put your audio files, and let's go find some mono files real quick. Let's see. I recorded some stuff for my sister, so I know I definitely have some. Let me see. Send the tips. Audio for sync. Let's see. I think it's stereo force. No, 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 no. Here we go. As you can see, we have the audio and it's on the left channel. We don't have anything on the right, but we want this to be, we want this audio on the left and the right. It's actually very simple. You can't select just the one channel. You can't select just the one channel inside of um, Audition. Or I don't think you can, but it's, just, it's very simple. All you have to do is just select it extract channels to mono files you select them to mono files now you can see we have the right and you can see it's the the same file but it's the right channel and then as you can see we also have the left channel now it's a mono and then now what we're going to do is we're just going to convert this to a stereo so then make sure it's all selected and then come over to favorites and go to convert to stereo now you have a stereo Unfortunately, sometimes when you convert a mono file to a stereo file, it lowers the volume. So we're just going to boost the volume back up. Everything is still selected. So then you come back over to favorites and you can normalize the negative three or the negative point one. Negative point one is going to bring it as close to zero without clipping. And now you can see we have the full audio. And when we go over to play it. This tip is based on. Well, you probably can't hear it or you probably could. But now you can see that it's on both channels. And then you would just come over to save, save selection as or save as. And then you would make sure that you set it to be a stereo file. So you just make sure that this is set to stereo. And once you um, render everything, you'll end up with a stereo file. And if you just export it, like if you just um, was inside of like a, Adobe Premiere and you went to edit and audition um, if you did all of this you probably wouldn't be able to bring it back in real quick but you could just save this file and make sure that you name it stereo or you just change the name to stereo so you know that this version is stereo or you name it whatever you want to name it and then once you get back inside of your editor you would just replace this clip with just make sure that this is in the bin you select this in the bin and then you just replace the clip with whatever's in the bin and then your audio would just swap out that fast and now you have stereo files and if you had something on this channel like if you had something on this channel you do the same thing and then you would end up with a stereo of the left and a stereo of the right and you could bring those back in the premiere and you can edit and change and if you had noise on one that you wanted to be able to cut out but you didn't want to cut it out from the first one you you still have all of that flexibility right there so I just showed you how to use either WaveLab or Adobe Audition to split your stereo files and take each of the um, channels and make stereo files out of those. That way you have more flexibility inside of your editor. Now you can record, now you can leave it if you want, if that's what you want. Like if, if it already sounds good to you and you don't have to change anything, then you know you could just leave it. 
but it's best to have it recorded on separate channels. That way you have one source on one channel and another source on another channel. That way you'll be able to do this at the end and you'll be able to separate stuff. And if you have feedback or noise and you know, like a train sound in this one, but you didn't have one on this one and you didn't want it to be in both channels, then you would have that flexibility instead of recording this on both channels and then recording this source on both channels and having them mixed in. You don't want to do that because that takes away your flexibility, but that might be what you want. So do whatever you want, but if you wanted the extra flexibility, then follow this right here and it's too simple. All right, thanks for watching. I um, hope this helped. If it did, leave some comments, leave some feedback, um, share the link. Try to spread the word as much as possible that separating your audio and processing your um, sound is very easy. If you need any more tutorials or if you have any suggestions for another um, video that you need some help with, just send me something in the email, or send, me some, send me a message, or leave something in the comments, and I'll try to get around to it as soon as possible. Other than that, hope this helped. Happy editing. Bye.